Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create, edit and assign permission levels in SharePoint Online. I'm Alex Yusuf from Doc365. Let's get started. SharePoint admins need to manage who can make changes on their sites. By using the permission level options, you can decide who can edit your site content and also restrict users to just view the content if necessary. Permissions allow SharePoint users to perform various activities. With premium permission levels, you can group a set of selected permissions and assign it to a SharePoint group appropriately. To create or edit a permission level, you need to be part of a SharePoint group with permissions to manage permission levels. Let's see how it can be done. We are doing this tutorial from a SharePoint demo site. So first, you need to click on the settings icon at the top on the right side of the page and click on site settings. The site settings page will be loaded and you can click on site permissions under the users and permission section. So it will take you to the site permissions page. From there, you can click on permissions level from the menu bar or the dashboard. So click on the permission levels. Here you can see the currently available permission levels. So to create a new permission level, just click on the add a permission level option. This is where you need to start creating a new permission level for your SharePoint online. So first step is to give it a name. So here we are going to give it the name retail permissions. Retail group permissions will be more appropriate as it is for the retail department. You can give an appropriate description here. The next step is to choose the kind of permissions you want to uh, allow and disallow. To add a particular uh, permission to this particular list, you can just click on the check boxes here and move down. There are uh, list permissions as well as site permissions and also personal permissions. So uh, check the boxes which are applicable and after reviewing the, all the details, just click on the create button. So now uh, the new permission level is created and it will be listed here. As you now know how to create a permission level now, let's see how to edit an already existing permission level. You can edit the permission levels to make two changes. Updating the name and description is the first change you can make and also you can include or exclude permissions from the particular permission level. So here we can, let's edit the retail group permission level we just added. So just click on the permission level you just added or to which you want to make changes. So it will take you to the same page where you started creating the level. So edit it accordingly. Like if you want to change the name, you can change it here. If you want to update the description, you can do it here. You can also uncheck any of the permissions you want to exclude or you can also add any new permission you want to update. After that, click on submit. By doing this, you have edited an existing permission level and made it perfect. Hope this tutorial helps you to make the most of permission levels in SharePoint Online. Have a good day. Thank you.